What's going on guys? I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's Air 2. Today I'm going to show you guys three easy products to use to fix leaks in your roof and gutters. Let's do this. Alright guys, so we've got three products here that I use to repair roof and gutter leaks. These are the only three different types of products that you're going to need. Not so much the brands, but more so the product itself. So the first thing we're going to look at is our roof gutter and concrete silicon. So this one here is probably the most commonly used one. Very easy to use, simple, straightforward. Out of a caulking gun, you can uh, squeeze that material out, smooth off the area, and you're ready to go. Now, the couple of things that I like about this one here, it's easy application, relatively cheap, probably about six to eight dollars for a tube of silicon like this one here and this one here can come in a range of different colors the reason why it comes in a range of different colors is because this one here is not paintable that's probably the only downfall with the roof and gutter concrete silicon is it's not paintable but like it says it can be used on your roof gutter and concrete these next two products here can also be used on your roof gutter and concrete. What we've got is our spray-on version. This one here is from Rust-Oleum Leak Seal. Okay, it's a flexible coating that comes out out of a spray can. Really, really nice and easy to use. I'm going to show you guys a quick demonstration of this one here in a second. Um, what I usually tend to do is for any areas with larger cracks, I'll use the silicon because I can squeeze out a lot more material. Smaller cracks, even on plastic PVC, your down pipes, anything like that, we can use a spray on version. And our last one here is a waterproofing membrane. So this one here is from Cromlin. And the best thing about this one here is for large areas, we can use a brush. So you simply open this stuff here up. You can see how nice and gluey that is inside. Take a brush and we can brush it on. So I'll show you guys a quick example of this one here now. Um, this one here is paintable. This one here is paintable. This one here isn't. That's probably the biggest difference between the three. Um, now with this one here, also you can use it um, on your rainwater tanks, anywhere where you need to store water. So it is UV rated and it is rated for um, collecting water. So this one here is awesome if you've got a crack in a rainwater tank. Um, but in the current example that I'm gonna show you guys, we've got an extension on a house where they've extended out and the new roof has a steel or metal roofing on there. Now at the top of it, or on the end of it, there's actually a flashing that prevents the water from running into the property itself. Um, and over the years, the waterproofing has degraded. So that means we've got a little crack in the top and I need to re-waterproof um, that area. So what I do is I take this product using a brush and simply apply it to the area. It's that simple, guys. Really, really easy, straightforward. In terms of cost, this one here costs about 6 to $8 for a tube. This one here costs about... Uh, I think from memory about 12 to $15 depending on the brand. This one here we've got a 4 litre which is 1 gallon for about $70 um, but you can buy a 1 litre quarter of a gallon um, for about $25 and this one here will get you pretty far, really nice and easy to use. So like I said with this one here we simply apply it um, to the area using a brush wait for an hour or two until it dries and then we give it a second coat and it's ready to go it's that simple nice easy straightforward and it's actually paintable this one here i'm going to show you guys an example in a second um, we've got a box gutter that's been leaking for a while right on the joint and what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean off the area inside the gutter and then we're going to apply our um, spray on version here because it's just nice and easy to get into that tight area we can use any of these three products on the um, example that i'm about to show you guys but just for the purpose of this video because you've already seen an example with this one we're going to use the spray on version um, once again with the silicon one Hopefully I don't need to show you guys an um, example of this one here. If you want to see one, let me know. I'll post a separate video on each separate product if that's what you guys want to see. But this video is just to give you guys a quick rundown on three different products that you can use. See which one is going to be the best for your project and then we can go from there. So I'll get up now on the um, roof and I'll show you guys um, how to repair the joint on our gutter. So you can see the joint there in the middle of the gutter. This is the area where it's starting to deteriorate. You can see some of the old silicon that was over the old screw holes and it's completely deteriorated. So that's what's causing it here to leak. Um, and we've got a bit of buildup of gunk on the sides. So what we're gonna do, take a wire brush and we're just gonna clean off that area. Try to take off any of the loose material. all this mess 
l'impression. Give it a good shake. And we can just spray it on the area. leave this one here for about an hour or so let it dry off and then we'll come back and give it a second coat so once the first coat's all nice and dry we can now move on to our second coat a little bit thicker than the first coat and then we'll just let this one here dry and it should be ready to go so there you have it guys that's three different ways that you can fix a leaking roof or gutter nice and simple DIY friendly hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and I've helped you guys out as always like comment and subscribe until next time I'm Bill thanks for watching Bill's out too